I've noticed I say so yeah at the beginning of all my videos. So yeah, um, I haven't made a video for a while, and by a while I mean two weeks, which isn't really that long at all. Um, anyway, this guy came up to me the other day and said I was being illegal because the tyres on my car weren't rough enough or something. It sounds ridiculous, and at first I thought the guy was having some kind of private joke with himself, but it turns out that he was actually telling the truth and I, I needed to get some new tyres. So the next day I went to the tyre place uh, to get some new tyres, and um, the thing is, I know nothing about cars. I mean, I I drive one. But that's as far as the relationship goes. I mean, my car doesn't have a name. I don't talk about it. I don't read car magazines. I don't care how big the engine is. I pretty much just use it as a transportation device. So um, in a situation where I'm forced to pretend I know about cars, I find it quite hard. I end up putting on like a deep voice and uh, saying the word mate about 5,000 times. Oh, hi there. Um, I dropped my car in earlier. It's under the name Ben. Alright mate, yeah. Oh, you're the bloke who came in for his tyres, yeah? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, that's right mate. Um, so how, how much do I owe you then? Right, let's have a look. Uh, on the phone you said it'd be around £45? Yeah mate, I mean that was for the tyre itself. Obviously we've got to do tracking as well. Oh yeah, obviously, yeah. Then we had to reshuffle the calibration. Then we had to readjust the wheel span. Yep, okay. Oh, you know, on top of that you've got labour. Alright, and uh, so how much does all this cost together? Well, mate, you know, you've got to pay like 15 quid each for the rim fitting. Okay, no one told me about that. I had to connect the red wire to the green wire. Okay, what was there? A bomb in my car? I had to open and close the doors. Yeah, but I mean, surely you do that anyway. Then like, I scratched my arm for a little bit um, because I had a bit of an itch. Then I just stood here for a while. Fair enough, mate, yeah. Then I just took all my clothes off and sat in your car completely naked and just rubbed my leg like this. Um, did you have to do that? You know, I, I fell asleep like that for about half an hour. Right, in, in my car, so that's about it really, so uh, altogether that comes to 321 quid. Uh, okay mate, yeah, um, can I pay by card? So if, like me, you know nothing about cars, you pretty much have to do everything they say. I think it's quite funny that if someone has a little bit of authority, then you have no choice but to go ahead with it. Welcome to the real world. Oh, and I just have to mention, um, last week, I think it was last week, um, I got to hang out with Paper Lilies. Yay! It was a massive honour really because she is so hugely famous. It was also just really nice and it was quite a lot like just kind of catching up with a friend you haven't seen for a while because it's, it's really funny the whole YouTube thing. But. So yeah, she's really cool. Hello. And also while we were in London, we got recognised. Ah! And this lovely girl called Daisy, she came along and filmed us. Bye bye, Paper Lilies and Ben Loka. <laughs> I saw you in Regent's Park! <laughs> So yeah, I'll put a link to that video, I'll put a link to her video at the side in the description of this one. Um, oh, and while I'm putting clips up, um, I haven't showed you guys this yet, it's uh, when me and Mandy went to Brighton uh, a couple of weeks ago and we went to another Harry Krishna festival and um, here it is. <laughs> huge festival on the beach so yeah that was really cool as well uh, so okay yeah so this is just to say hello really and uh, hope you're doing okay speak to you soon bye